open for solicitors for our engineer who we want to our solicitor support. Thank you, Mr. President. I've uh, submitted my report. We have several action items. The first is to requesting a motion to accept the settlement proposal for the tax assessment appeal for 2540-2550 Market Street, which will result in additional tax revenue to the township in the amount of $4,742 over the current assessment. The school board will consider this at their next scheduled meeting and the judge assigned to the case would like a stipulation signed before March 1st, 2020. So we're asking that that matter be put on the agenda as an action item uh, for next week. We reviewed a recommended contract uh, execution for the Wayfair signage project. I've given those to Ms. Kelly uh, for the final execution and uh, distribution. Uh, as we indicated on December 7th, we received the Aspen Township Board of Commissioners approval for the conditional use hearing related to the Nolan property adjacent to Somerset. The matter will go on the land development process next and we continue to monitor that. <clears throat> we are in the process of drafting the developer's agreement and tri-party escrow for Clover development. We're waiting for some final information related to the posting of the escrow by uh, bank letter. Uh, we're waiting for the bank information so that we can complete that particular aspect of it. I prepared uh, and sent to the township manager and also the property owner a uh, proposed agreement of sale for the purchase of 2132 Blue Ball Avenue in for the amount of $50,000, which the board had authorized. We'll need a motion to authorize the president of the board and the secretary to execute any and all documents related to the purchase and closing of the property for township use. So that'll be another action item. We reviewed and approved the TCDI resolution. Uh, we attended and prosecuted the property maintenance citation hearing related to 256 Meeting House Road. With great assistance from our code officer, Keith Crowley, who had the matter documented to a T, uh, we were able to obtain a guilty verdict and fine for nearly all of the citations. I just want to remark that Keith did a great job in preparing the case with and for me and he should be commended for a job well done. I do not know if the landowner filed an appeal. The fines were significant, so I would expect that he would be. As to the action the landowner brought against the <coughs> former code official, that matter is pending before the Court of Common Pleas, and a pretrial conference is scheduled for February the 14th, 2020, at 10 a.m. before Judge Angelos. Uh, the property maintenance matter regarding Lisa Bishop has been continued for 60 days pending cleanup of the property. We have made some significant progress and the township is working with the landowner to get the rest of that property cleaned up. We have a property maintenance matter regarding uh, 226 Meeting House Road scheduled for March 10, 2020. We received proof of publication from the Daily Times related to the ordinance change for the meeting times and we will need a motion to approve the ordinance amendment would be appropriate at next week's uh, meeting. We've revised the fire marshal ordinance and sent to the board on January 10th, 2020. The next step, assuming no additional charge or changes, would be the motion to authorize the solicitor to advertise the same. Uh, we handled several administrative and personnel matters related to the township during the past month. All matters were addressed and all other legal matters are under Thank you. Any questions for? Yes. Um, is this the new uh, fire marshal ordinance? It is. In 60.7, it says six year term again. No, so that, is, the, that must be the old one. Okay, I haven't seen the new one. Yeah, January 10th, I sent that out, but I'll, I'll resend it out again. Okay. Okay. Send it send it out. Out. I sent it to George for distribution to the board. Yes. Okay. But I don't recall seeing it. So yeah, I haven't seen that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he may have printed out the wrong one. <laughs> yes, I made those revisions <laughs> consistent with our last discussion. Uh, so the other thing is the uh, is there any movement on the Peach Street easements? Uh, uh, I submitted every. I think George. I think they're in George's hands. I think he has them. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. And the meeting day, the time ordinance. Is that just saying we have to change? We have to change your thing. Yes. In fact, we redirected the ordinance to say you could make it basically whatever time you want. The current ordinance says the meeting has to start at so. seven. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> so we removed that from the ordinance. Okay. My only question about the fire marshal ordinance is I asked about whether the fire marshal can hold the title as the title of fire marshal and be a fire chief of the fire company. I just like a legal opinion 
if there's no I don't know that there is a, a legal answer to that. I don't know that it would be a best practices to have that. Okay. I don't know that there's a specific prohibition, but most of the townships that I've contacted and have worked with uh, have a fire marshal that is separate than a fire chief in that Because none of that has been added to this. Well, that one, I'm not sure which one. Well, I haven't seen it. Well, we, talk, it. we yeah. talked about what, what Commissioner Neary mentioned about the six years. Mm -hmm. change. And, we, and, and, and I did make all those changes yeah. after the we last one. The, 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 the most the recent one, yes. Because I, I have my notes from last one. I made all the changes that we talked about. Okay. Mm -hmm. The fire marshal. I, if there's no other questions for our solicitor, we will move on to our manager report. 